Gambler Jack, Chapter 7 The Banquet of Darkness The ship was utterly silent as it cut through the velvety darkness of the night. In contrast to the stillness and inky black of the outside, one layer down the ship's interior was filled with light and sound. Furnishings from every part of the continent adorned the walls, and a band of musicians played a cheery song. The orbal glow of a chandelier imported from the burrow shone down on every form of a human desire. In the hall built into the centre of the ship, guests laughed and chattered. They appeared to be the finest of ladies and gentlemen, but each and every one were a part of the seedy Republican underworld. They were the type of folk that spoke of murder as easily as one would dinner un, or a fine wine. Their faces hadn't changed much in seven years. In the furthest depths of the hall, there was discreet seating for the highest ranked of the lot. And just like seven years ago, there was a certain group of men there. One old man was flanked by several bodyguards. His name was Chief Minister Shamrock. He was the host of the party aboard the ship. A long white beard trailed down his chest. It was his symbol, and also the symbol of power. Though he retired several years before, he continued to serve in an advisory role to many organisations. Retirement had done nothing to slow his influence on the nation. He was a man well worthy of being called the monster of the underworld. Chief Minister Shamrock held this party once every year as a place for the powerful to meet and share useful information. Of course, there were many in the group who could hardly be called friendly in their attitude. Two of these such men were Enrique and Juan. Enrique, seven years ago and this time, was the man who twice now built this plan for a gambling match. Originally, he had been an arms dealer, but ten years before, when he started dealing with the Eastern Quarter, he had expanded his business to smuggling drugs and became a villain on the rise, the best of the new class. Conversely, one was a villain whose roots ran deep in this region back to even before the Eastern Quarter. He was the kind of man who ruled from the top, commanding gangs of thugs, punks and the like. Over the last ten years in the Eastern Quarter, Enrique and Juan had been in the middle of a territory dispute. It was a fight of new versus old. Neither side had yielded a rage, and every drop of blood was washed away with more blood in their fights. It was at the height of that situation seven years ago that Enrique had suggested a duel with gambling as the theme. A one-on-one, -on -one, full cheating match between the best of the best gamblers. On that match, they would both wager their territory in the Eastern Quarter. He brought the suggestion to one as a way to reduce the amount of profitless bloodshed at least a bit. At first, one had been against it, but the endless fighting was taking a toll on his own organisation. Even so, one was an old-fashioned man, and not the type to easily jump to new ideas. Enrique next brought the idea to Chief Minister Shamrock, and the advisor to the underworld permitted the match. As the chief minister, Shamrock was also advisor to one's group. With him having granted permission, one could hardly refuse the match. Gambler Jack, Chapter 7, End